Hey, it's Spock Summer and Demos Lions. It's me, Spock. And today, coming to video. In this video, I am combining more of my MJ Elementals and MJ Golems together. In this video, I am combining. Give me a second to figure them out. Combining. I am combining the Elemental and Golem versions of, um, if I remember correctly, of the um. Oh, give me a sec. Sorry about this. I am combining Toru, then the both versions of the. Both of the elemental and golem versions of Toru, Shota Todoroki, Sero, and Jiro. Sorry about all those breaks because I'm trying to figure out my memory is being wanting to be a pain at the moment. Now, sorry about that. Let's get into this video. Let's go and roll intro. Roll and. <laughs> Like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Okay, I am back and looking at more um, elemental golems. First one we're looking at is a water elemental golem. Creature name: Glass Tranquid Elm Water Elemental Golem. Or most common name: Glass Tranquid. Like already suggested, the name wise, it's part glass golem. Part Tranquid, those are its two descendants. The Glass Golem, getting the transparent like rock of the creature. The rocks are actually have a little amount of crystal in them, but not enough to make it into an actual crystal golem. The water is has the ability to basically purify itself. Basically, in that transfers the rock the uh, material into the rocks, making the rocks um, harder and more, and a lot less easy to break. Height-wise, they, well, body-wise, most of them is water, like their neck, their main body, and a few, and the other few parts are their upper arms and upper legs. Their head, are lower arms and lower legs are made of rock. The same rock that the, um, Glass golem is made out of. They are very strong. The only they also have the ability, like the other two, to also control how see through they are. Most of the time, they <clears throat> there's two ways to see through them. Well, if they're underwater, you'll just think like that's weird. Um, why are there just a uh, golem head, arms, and legs underwater? But then, you might be able to see it actually moving around in certain ways. But other than that, <clears throat> on land, this way you can s tell if they, um, if they, um, glass tranquil is because the rocks actually are full reflective, but, and the other fact is that the water will give it a bluish hue to, bluish color to it. So there's that fact of it that you can actually tell if it's an actual creature. These creatures stand up around 5 foot 11. They're relatively big and strong. <clears throat> they are actually relatively nice. But if you piss it off, you are pretty much a dead man. They also have the ability to reflect the the light through their body, causing it to blind or stun some opponents, and also their prey. Their prey is plankton, actually. Bio bioluminescent plankton. These planktons are actually really big. Um, I might talk about those in a future video, in a future um, vid audio file, but they're very very big creatures, not much kind of ugly. They're bipedal underwater creatures. Let's get to the next um, mental golem of today. Okay, this next one is a really weird one. This one is known as the Icy Hot Fire Elemental Golem, or Icy Hot Fire. Unlike the name suggests, um, 
it is an actual, um, it's an elemental, but it has a weird part to it. The weird part is that, like the name suggests, Icy Hot, its descendants are actually, um, one of the first elementals, one of the brothers went over, the, um, Icy Fire, and one of the original elements. Um, golems that the other brother went over. The, um, Ice Magma. The reason why they're called Icy Hot Fire is because one side is, can control ice, the other side controlling fire. Um, like the, um, Icy Magma Golem, one side is near, is all black with a few cracks in it with lava throwing fluid. Flowing through it. The legs from the actual fire elemental. Actually on that side. Are actual fire connecting the um. Connecting the limbs together. The lower arm and the lower leg only. The neck is made of an actual rock. But on the other side it has a few frost patches. Just like it's um. Just like it's icy magma descendant. But. It is actually taller. And a lot less heavy. Clucking in around only, get this, two tons where the other one's actually clucking around four tons. So the thing's half as heavy. Um, it also has ice on that side of the body. It actually has fire spewing out from the lower leg, the lower arm, and its upper corner of its head. Ice spikes coming out of the, um, out of the arm and leg. And also... It, like the name suggests, it can control ice on the other, on the other side. Um, it these cracks are actually caused by um, the magma exploding at times because of the pressure in it. The reason why the matter the magma explodes is because it's under so much pressure and the and it's laying off only so much fire to keep the thing going on that side. It actually causes chunks to blow off but when it hardens it actually doesn't really harden yeah but on the rare occasion it does it's more of a um it's that reddish rock from the fire elementals which will make sense because this thing is more or less the father well descendant the ancestor of most fire elementals because of the um because of the I, the, um, the, what was it, also the blackness is caused from the, um, ice side, keeping that, the rock so cold, it, the rock turns black, but the magma turns the dark, the reddish color, and that's why the, it's the, the ancestor of most fire elementals. Let's get to the next elemental goal of today. Okay, the next two videos I know for sure are going to be Jedi videos, but the twist I'm com I am doing a fusion verse, which I plan on making more in the future. I am combining MHA and MHA, Star Wars and MHA. Sorry, um, still working on the name for this you know for this, for this fusion verse, but Revenge of the Sith is going to be the villains, and May the Fourth is going to be um. The MHA characters. Okay, now let's continue this video. Let's go. The third elemental we're looking at today is known as the Sticky Rock Twister Elemental Golem or Sticky Rock Twister. Its descendants are, well, the Sticky Rock Golem and one of the more recent Golems elementals that um the interviewer went over. Sticky Twister, um, this one is a little weird, um, it has a neck made of, has a neck, um, the arms of it are actually made of wind, except for the elbow joint, which is a solid rock, same thing on both arms, wind connecting the upper torso to the waist, a, a good chunk of the legs, is actually made of air as well very dense air at that and going down to the um 
actual foot. It's a little elm. It's a little golem foot with rocks at the bottom of it. These rocks are actually its toes. But it has a unique property. Just like the um, sticky twister, um, when you peel away something from it, it actually looks like little air strands attaching to it, but coming off and coming loose as it pulls it. Similar to actual tape. Um, that's what it looks like when you pull it from the wind section. But it has an ability to actually duplicate its elbow joints. Because every so often, it needs another rock. And the rocks have the ability to control the air and funnel it to the next rock. And this can go around 100 feet in between each rock. And trust me, it can go very far. That's why I designed these creatures to do. They were actually originally supposed to be um, nomadic creatures helping people out. But due to their evolution, they are two descendants are wild or helpful people, helpful creatures. They are very nice, but they can be a little pain to fight. I remember when I first created them, the humans nearly went ex nearly wiped them out because of the fact that they didn't really know what they were. Matter of fact, these were early age humans, so they don't didn't really know what they could do. After a few years, I interacted with one of them, who became, um, who taught everyone else that, um, about the magic of this world and all that. Um, but due to the effect of the evolution of the, of the elemental golems, there are very few, only around, um, 200 of each species, more or less, on the earth at the moment. Scientists are actually trying to figure out ways to bring that number up. A few do know they exist and believe they exist. Whereas a good the rest of them think they're all hoaxes or they used to be alive but are no longer real. The sticky twister the sticky rock twister is a um, good example of them knowing they were real because of the magical properties within the rock. But more people have spotted and the scientists have actually spotted them too. Now let's get to the last one of today. The last one we're looking at today is actually an earth elemental golem. It's a um its two descendants are the rock and roll earth elemental and the um let me give you a second to find that other file. Um right here. Um vibrating crystal sound crystal <clears throat> golem crystal golem. Um it actually has um, three pairs of crystals. Um, one on each arm that connects it to the, um, not really connects it, but somehow moves it around and keeps it connected with magic and sound waves to the main body. The upper body is actually floating as well. It has a head, your, your standard um, earth elemental head, your, its neck, its upper body, and then a crystal that is hovering above the lower body. Um, so that, these crystals actually keep it together using sound wave and magic, and it also has the ability, just like its de and its descendants, to plunge its crystals into something, and then either, but this one cranks it up a few notches. Not just being able to detect where someone is, like m some of them, though with real talent of its descendants, are actually able to amplify the um, the sound of it and actually able to shatter the ground, causing like tremors and earthquakes. The other one can also be used to let out ear-piercing sound attacks. Very powerful. It can also deafen people up from five miles away. Trust me, it's a very surprise how much I'm deaf after making the creatures because they aren't really hostile, but whenever they care about someone, they act kind of aggressive because they don't want to hurt the person they care about. Huh, basically like your typical Sedandre. Um, but they are very nice in general once you get to know them. 
Um, very powerful creatures. They mostly are known to hang out with the um with another elemental, but fire elemental golem at that. Gnome and I've already gone over this one, the controlled electrical crystal fire elemental is what's mostly known to hang out with. And on a few occasions actually have children with um those children are very powerful. Uh, they have the ability to actually um control both sound waves and um electricity. Now the children of these creatures are very powerful. They have there are very rare humans that are basically the and descendants of full on um rock and roll oh yeah, forgot to mention the name. Rock and roll crystals or Elemental Golem, or Rock and Roll Crystals. Of the children of the pure Rock and Roll Crystals are actually very powerful. And trust me, you do not want to get fight one. That's all the Elemental Golems of today. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Until next time, subscribe to Adrian's Podcast Army or Demos Alliance. Goodbye and peace out.